Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to white table WordPress dashboard. So let's just begin. All right, to white table the WordPress dashboard, what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for white label CMS. And you will be able to see white label CMS by video user manuals. Okay, so we have to install this plugin. So this plugin would actually help us to customize our dashboard panels and branding and hide the menus and etc. Okay. So now we're going to simply click on activate. Perfect. So now if I wanted to use our white label LMS, I'm going to go inside the settings and click on the white label CMS settings. And here you can see the option of the branding here. Okay. So you can see that we have the branding. We have the login, we have the dashboard, then we have the menus, then we have the settings. So in the branding, you can see the first thing that we have is hide WordPress logo and the links. So if you want to hide the WordPress logo and the links, you can simply hide it from here. And after this, you have the option of hide WB version. So if I just scroll down, you will be able to see the version of the WordPress here. Okay, so if you want to hide this in the footer, you can simply do this from here. Okay, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna simply click here. We're gonna simply enable this and this will hide the version value of the WordPress. And after this, if you wanted to add the custom page titles, uh, then you can simply do this, but I don't want to do anything here. And after this, we have the admin bar branding. If you want to add the admin bar logo, so right now we have the logo of the WordPress. So if you want to change this to any other logo, you can simply do this. So I'm going to simply click on upload here and I'm going to go here with some random image here. So I think I can go here with this one and click on insert into post. And after this, if you want you to add the alt text uh, to your admin bar, you can also add this, but I don't want to do anything here. And after this, we have the option to replace the howdy text, which you can see here. So if you want to change this text here, you can simply change this. Okay, so I'm going to change this with the high. I'm going to write it down high, something like this. And after this, if you want to change the admin bar URL, you can also do this. But we don't want to change this. And after this, we have the option in the sidebar branding. So in the sidebar branding, we have the sidebar menu. So if you want to change the side menu image, you can simply do this from here. And if you want to add the collapse side menu image, you can also do that. And after this, we have the side menu URL. And then we have the alt text. So if you want to add or change anything here, you can simply do this. Okay. And after this, we have the Gutten Merge branding. So in the Gutten Merge branding, we only have a single option, which is the Gutten Merge exit button. So if you want to change the exit button uh, icon, you can simply do this. You can go here with the admin bar logo. You can go here with the custom icon. So whatever you prefer to go here. So I just click on the custom icon. Now you can upload your custom icon here. But I would go here with the exit icon right now. Then we have the footer branding. So in the footer branding, uh, you can see here we have the footer image. We have the footer text. Then we have the footer URL. Or you can also use the HTML code here. And the image in the footer would actually replace. So if I can zoom it in. Image in the footer would actually replace the text. Thank you for creating with the WordPress. So if I can uh, scroll down, you will be able to see this text. Thank you for creating with the WordPress. So it would actually replace this text here. Okay. So if you want to add the image, you can simply do this from here. But we don't want to do anything on that part. Okay. So after this, what do we have right now? I'm going to simply click on save. And now you will be able to see that we are having our custom logo here. Okay. And if I scroll down, you won't be able to see the text here in our footer. So we don't have the version. We don't have the thank you text. So we actually hide out all this stuff here. Okay. And now I'm going to like to go here on the login and you can also see we have changed the text here from howdy to hi. All right. So now in the login, we also have the similar kind of options just like in the branding. So we have the login logo. So if you want to change the login logo, so I would like to change this. I would like to change this to this one. So let's click on insert into post. And after this, you have the retina login logo. So I'm going to also upload this. I'm going to use the same logo here then we have the logo width so i'm going to go with the default value here we have the logo height we'll go for the default value then we have the logo bottom margin so if you want to add the bottom margin here 
you can simply have it so i'm gonna go here with uh 10 px at the moment and we can also change the background color here and you can also upload the background image here so for uploading the background image i'm gonna simply click here and i would click on insert into post and i would also enable full screen background image okay so i'm gonna enable this we can add the position of the image and we can add whether our background should repeat or not and after this we have the advanced settings so in the advanced settings we have the option to hide register or lost your password links so if you want to hide this you can simply hide this and if you also want to hide back to link you can simply uh, hide this from here then you have the form background color then you have the form label color form button color hover color uh, then the text color then the text hover color you can see all of these different options here okay and after this if you wanted to add the custom javascript into it you can also do this okay but we don't want to do anything here then we have the custom css so now what we're gonna do we're gonna simply jump into the dashboard but before that i will need to save this and now let's just go into the dashboard so in the dashboard you can add the dashboard icon here as well okay so i'm gonna use the same dashboard icon here or we can go here with this one so let's click on insert into post then you have the dashboard text and then you can select the roles and then you can select the roles from you can hide out your dashboard so i would not change anything from here and then we have the options in the dashboard panels so if you want to hide all the dashboard panels you can simply do this from here so if you don't want to hide all the options you can simply select the options that you want to hide so i think i would like to disable the woocommerce option then the checkout then this one and also the wordpress events and news i don't want this and i think this is enough and after this we have the custom welcome uh, dashboard panel so if you want to have your own welcome panel you can enable this as well but i would keep it like this and then we have rss uh, dashboard panel so if you want to enable this you can simply enable this from here so now what we're gonna do we're gonna simply save this and now we're gonna jump into our dashboard so that we can see if we have seen any change here all right so you can see here we are having our logo here and if i want to do change the text here i could simply change the text here and you can see this there is no option for the woocommerce and also the other options as well so i think it is pretty much working now we're going to go into our white label cms again now we're going to explore the options of the menus so in the menus you only have the single option so if you want to hide the menus for your client you can simply hide this from here and you can also select the options optionally here that if you want to hide some of these options or if you don't want to hide some of these options so you can simply select those options from here okay but i don't want to hide anything from the client at the moment so i'm going to disable this then we have the settings here so in the settings we have the front and admin bar so if you want to hide that you can hide this from here then we have the help box then we have screen options so if you want to hide them you can simply hide them from here then you have the custom css for the admin so if you want to add the url of any custom css file you can simply add this here and now we can simply save this okay so i think we have done everything here and we have explored every option that we have on our white level cms so now we're gonna simply log out from our wordpress website and here you will be able to see that we are having our custom logo here on the wordpress login and you can also see the background color which is also looking great here so this is how you can white label your wordpress website and this is all for this video if you really find this useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel